So what's up you guys, we're out here, we're with Bodie, and I just brought him something cool, the Mini Extreme Box Compact Power Distribution Center. What does it do, you guys? Well, you run power to it, and it gives you a nice solid base for running stuff off of, right? Right, yeah, you can run you run 220 power to it, and you can run a couple of high amperage uh, outlets off of it, so if you're running like a chop saw or something, you can run that off of there. Cool, so like, just when you need maximum power outlets in a certain area. When you need, yeah, when you need po uh, good power, when you don't only have a uh, high voltage, like a welder line, or if you're running off a generator. Cool, so it has uh, breakers built in, also has four plugs on this side, and exact opposite on the other, 20 amps each. It's pretty cool, but it's, is it at the extreme box? We'll find out. Let's find out, whip that thing. Oh yeah, we're gonna beat it up first. Close enough to where we need it. Yeah. Cool, that's where we're gonna use it, you guys. We're actually gonna just power off some tools off of it. Let's see what kind of damage. It is the Tough Botch Extreme. We did beat it up, so obviously you see it is getting some damage, it is getting dented up. But you know what? It's all about it working. Plug this in, now we've got high amperage power out here. We can run a chop saw next to what we're working on instead of having to go back and forth. So you guys, we just beat it up. It should have power. It should be ready to go. Plug I see in. a light. I see a light. See a light? Let's see what happens. It works. Nice. So you guys, pretty much, I mean, they're not designed to be beat up, smashed up like that, but you know, I mean, we just really whipped it, it hit it on the corners and dented in. So, I mean, you threw it pretty hard, right? I threw it pretty hard, across, folded across the parking lot pretty good. Yeah, but I mean, that's something, how often do you gonna use this thing? Uh, it's, it's something that, you, uh, it's, it's meant for like a contractor or if you're running off a generator or a welder. It'd be great for that where if you wanna run two circuits where your two guys are grinding, grinders are high amp applications, where you need two guys grinding at the same time, maybe even remotely like this instance. Look how far we are from the shop. Now I've got 20 amps of, or 15 amps of good, or 20 amps of good power right. right here. And if someone does come by and kick it or get smacked, you know it's still gonna offer reliable power. Well that, and then it's also, we're working outside, so we do need something that, that, is a, that has a neutral wire to it, or not neutral, but a ground wire to it. So it is, you have a G, you have GFI, GCFI outlet on it, so if you do get it wet, you hopefully won't get shocked. Yeah. Wow, so that's what the GCFI is for? Yeah, that way you, if you do get something, if you're standing in water, it gets water, it starts raining, whatever, you won't get an electrical shock. Wow, so I mean that's a pretty, you know, well-built little box for doing what it does. I didn't think of that, man. I thought you just run an extension cable and put more extension cables in. Well, the problem is if I but... ran an extension cable this far, there's no way it'd ever run a chop saw. We'll get the chop saw in a second because that's something we need to do out here. It, there's just not enough amperage in a small cable. Like if I was to run an extension cord, even a heavy extension cord, we're... 120 feet from the power source right now. Wow. So it wouldn't be able to do that. Same thing if you had an electric compressor, which wouldn't be an instance. Typically, we would run with an electric uh, welder out here that's operated by gas power. But since we're so close to the shop, now we can just run with electric welder and electric tools. Yeah, cool. Pretty cool, man. All right, cool. So you thumbs up. Yeah, let's give it, we'll give it a shot with the uh, chop saw, see how it cuts out here, see if it drops. Uh, trips the breaker any all right it's a real test for it real high, high oh rate. really because this yeah. could trip may cause a trip in the breaker it could cause it to either trip this breaker chop saws draw about the most when you're cutting yeah so if it trips this breaker or trips the one inside we'll know right away the one inside's 30 amps so wow so technically this one would go first because that's a 20 amp it's 20 amp yeah okay so we'll see what happens cool a great thing if you're doing a house or if you're working on a new construction or even remodeling where you ripped out most of your electricity and now you can run wherever you need you have four, you know, four outlets, 20, 220 amp uh, services pretty much. So you can run your hand tools. And you just run it to the panel? Uh, you run it from, you can run it from the panel. You can run it from, let's say you ripped out, if you're doing a kitchen, you ripped out all electricity and all you have is a dryer outlet. You can run it from the dryer outlet. Most wow. of them are 30 or 50 amps. So, I mean, dryer outlets and welder outlets are pretty much the same And it's thing. actually kind of lightweight to carry around. Yeah, it's lightweight, but I mean, it's, it gives you four solid places to plug into. Uh, I mean, it's 20 amps, uh, obviously each side, so you got to watch what you're running. It's the higher amperage tools, like a circular saw or something. Right. Would, you know, would tend to pop, you could possibly pop the breaker. The other handy part is the breaker's right here. You don't have to run downstairs to go. Or yeah, run, you know, it's all at the box. Is, yeah. Cool. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.